Hello, chat. You asked for it, and here it is. More of my suffering. To please you all. I'm not happy about this. I mean, I had to get around to doing it eventually anyways. It's that whole thing of, you know, better, like, get it done sooner rather than later. But man, I really don't want to play this game. I'm also only live on Twitch and uh, YouTube today. I did not feel like setting up the Rumble stream. Oh, God. Beware, Kree, this is worse. Or one of the worst DLCs for Fallout 4. The lore it brings is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I really, really do not want to do this. Why are you making me do this, chat? Why do you want me to suffer? I heard Far Harbor was decent. I... I have heard people say it was decent. I've seen some things that... I'm not a big fan of, but I'll see when I get there. I won't be doing Far Harbor today. In fact, part of what I'm going to be doing in this stream, and for part five of the Fallout 4 analysis is um, the Creation Club stuff. And as you can see, I, I just stepped out of the vault. I, I did that before starting up the stream. I have like two dozen quests dumped into my uh, Pip-Boy over the mold. Yeah. Um... Right. Some of these DLCs are just dumping shit into my inventory, like this handmade shotgun. Mm, I, I am not a fan of that design. Let's see. Oh, the Doom Marine stuff just gets dumped into my inventory, too. How about that? Alright, what else do I have? Morgan Spacesuit. I believe this is uh, Prey. I don't know why this is in the game. Like, I don't know why someone was like, ah, oh, yes, Creation Club, let's put that suit in. Ain't that Creation Club shit? Yep, that it is. Nope. How do I drop stuff again? Oh, wait, there it is, R. Yeah, we're done with that already. And apparently I have a backpack. Cool. Alright, let's make this at least somewhat tolerable. Oh my god, they're still fucking flowing in. You need that to enter my house. It's not a hazmat suit. God, I hate this game so much. Yeah, so do I! So do I. So, chat, since you're the arbiters of my suffering today, uh, how shall I suffer first with these uh, Creation Club quests? We've got uh, Neon Winter, Malevolent Malfunction, Speak of the Devil. What should I do? What do you want me to do? Poll time? I cannot fit all these into a poll. Should I just pick one at random? Nuka? No. I'll do Nuka World last tonight. God, I don't even know how long Nuka World will take. Does anyone know the approximate time to beat Nuka World? Go to the Institute and stab father in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I think Automatron is faster. I will do Automatron. That's the first of the actual DLCs I'll be doing. I'd say two to three hours. Five hours. Okay. Too long, obviously? Yeah, obviously. Okay, what's over the moon? Oh, hold on.
depends on what ending you want to go for. <sighs> I mean, yeah, I suppose there's the ending where you wipe out the raiders immediately and it just ends. I don't know any of these by name, but Neon Winter sounds dumb. I'll do that after whatever one I'm doing now. Did I, did I pick over the moon? I did. Okay. Let's also uncheck out of time, because we are not doing the main story. For obvious reasons. It's actually kind of a relief I don't have to play the main story for this game ever again. Like, okay, maybe if some psycho wants to pay me to play this game and watch me suffer through the main story, maybe I'll have to play it again. But that hasn't happened yet. So for now, I get to believe that, hey, I never have to touch the main story of this game ever again. And holy fuck, is that a relief. God damn. To do everything at least 20? Jesus, so yeah, I definitely not finishing Nuka World tonight. If Neon Winter is the one I remember, it, then it gives you a half-decent apartment and good neighbor. Ah, okay, hold on. I need to disable these live reaction things, because they'll drive me fucking insane if I don't. Hold on. I put up with it yesterday. I can't do it again today. I hate, 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 hate the live reaction thing. I don't know why they have it on by default. It's so stupid. I hate it. There, disabled. Why is it still there? Okay, there, it's gone. Good. Like, it wouldn't be so bad if it didn't block part of chat's messages. Like, why the fuck would you design it that way? Now, is Over the Moon going to be the fucking Mothership Zeta weapons? Because I know that's a, uh, one of the ones I installed. There, there was a bunch more Creation Club content I could have installed. But it was just, like, skins and shit. It's like, nah, I'm good. Read the farmer's note. Alrighty. I've always had trouble sleeping. Just the slightest noise and my eyes pop open wider than a cornfield. I mean, that seems like a pretty good trait to have in the post-apocalypse where everything wants to kill you. Of course, out here that ain't a bad thing, whether it's the raiders trying to steal your lunch or the muties trying to cook you for it. If you want to survive in the Commonwealth, you gotta have your mind on a hair trigger. But that night, what woke me wasn't a noise, it was a light. My first thought was poachers coming after Bessie in the herd. So I grabbed my... Uh, shotgun and ran out to where they were uh, grazing, but somewhere between the farm and the field, I noticed the light wasn't coming from the ground. It was coming from the sky! Dun dun dun. Yeah, this is, uh, this sounds like the mother shit Zeta weapons. Just kill me now. I've been known to spin a tall tale or two, but what I saw next is the God to Honest Truth. It was my Bessie, hooves and all, 40 feet in the air. The next morning, I tried to tell a traitor what happened. They tried to convince me she was carried off by blood bugs. But I've seen them uh, things make a meal out of a Brahmin before. This was different. It was like... She got sucked right up into the sky. It happened two more times since. All I got uh, left now is Emma. She's Bessie's only daughter, and I'll be damned if I let them have her too. Looks like they got her. Uh, so I'm taking her back to the well, back home to live with her kind. It may not be the safest place to be, but if she's off the farm, at least she'll be safe from them. In fact, Emma's been there once before when I, uh, rope a wild- God! Why the fuck is this note so goddamn long just to point me to a fucking cache of weapons? Christ! Uh, I like to have one of my own beside me. It lets them all know I treat my herd well. Of course, Emma took up a spot near the back where the hub flowers grow. At first I thought she was being shy, but later I found out she just liked the smell. Next time I come visit her, I imagine that's where she'll be. <sighs> Damn. 
deliver her keepsake back to the wild, really? Did you actually pay for all the Creation Club shit? No. You kidding me? Fuck that. I, um... Legally acquired it by other means. That's all I'll say. But no, I would not waste money on this fucking garbage. In fact, I was going to skip the Creation Club stuff entirely and just talk about it in general if it wasn't for the fact that I got access to a lot of this crap otherwise. Or by alternate means, I should say. He didn't buy it. Kree is a uh, goat, not a sheep. <laughs> the puns are killing me. This game just makes me so mad. Yeah, I hate it. I hate this game so much. And like, that's the thing too, is it doesn't look bad. I like the general look of the world. I wish the story and world building was better so I could enjoy this game, but it's just not... I guess I didn't need to jump away from that with fucking god mode on. Kratosis isn't getting Creation Club garbage literally as simple as editing a file. I've never bothered since I can't be arsed to replay the game at all now. Um... I'm not going to comment further on how I got the content. Let's just say I, I acquired it and that's all. The main quests make me want a KMS. Fallout 3 did make me... <laughs> God, I do not like this gun. Wait, there's more alien weapons just lying on- Did they stick one into the fucking cow? Alien shock, but really? <laughs> okay. Okay, game. Sure. Completed. Over the moon. Now how good are these... Like... How good are these weapons, actually? 54 damage doesn't seem too bad, I guess. Um... I wonder how much you can modify them, too. Money well spent? Not? Yeah, because I didn't spend money on this. Kinda sucks. Not a fan. Batons are for bludgeoning. Why did the alien use it to stab a cow? I don't know. Alright, someone said, uh... Neon Winter. Oh boy. There's even a map marker for it. How lovely. Did you enjoy that quest, Kratos? As it's a competitor for Shakespeare's plays, I'd argue. Let me just reload just in case. Yeah, that looks like an autosave. Um, because maybe I need to be outside. I don't want to, like, break it by teleporting straight there. 
Here we have Cree, who every second that passes wish he could taste that sweet, sweet Canadian health care. Yeah, you know, it it would be nice, maybe. Why is it? Cool, the game bugged. Yeah, you're not supposed to immediately teleport in like that. Yeah, I figured. That's why I reloaded. Good job, you broke it. <laughs> Did you say that if I shot literally anyone else? Aside from the guy that's scripted to die? I don't think so. Now on the map, it looked like it was actually outside of Good Neighbor. Is the marker literally on top of me? Okay, hold on. Because I broke it, um, I'm reloading. Because the map marker was telling me to go to where I was currently standing. Well, Cree, you've done it. You ruined Christmas. And I gladly will again. <clears throat> Eight years for this dog shit. <laughs> Okay, good. By the way, where is headset waifu? I haven't heard her beautiful voice in a while. So I don't know what's up with this headset, but sometimes she'll be there and sometimes she won't. Sometimes she'll just be a beep to warn me for low battery. I haven't heard her in, I think, well over a year now. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good are you at math, uh... 42 out of, uh, 39. Since Morrowind is your fave, did you play Kenshi? Not yet. I remember it being recommended in chat. But, uh... Not yet, no. Institute scientist, eh? This is just sitting here and no one cares? Like, this place is ridiculously fancy. And there's just, like, no one from Good Neighbor here? You kidding me?
Oh boy, fake door. My favorite. Oh god, Cree, why are you doing this to yourself? Research for part 5 of the Fallout 4 analysis. Oh god. They say in the aftermath of the Great War you could walk into a neighborhood and the only thing you'd hear is a snow crash from the television sets. Still on, but airing nothing. That was a nuclear winter I was trying to avoid with this project. It was never meant to be a replacement for humanity, but an alternative future for it. The project started small, as someone who forg- Am I gonna get another fucking 20 minute long exposition dump that's completely unnecessary? As someone who forgets basic tasks like setting the alarm, I programmed the machine to find different ways to remind me without relying on sound. The idea was to reinforce lateral thinking, to find solutions to problems without traditional human design and input. Over time, the machine learned a number of... different solutions from flashing lights at various spectrums uh, to beds imbued with a slight electrical current. I mean, that gives a new meaning to being jolted awake. Um, that sounds fucking horrible. If I remember incorrectly, the Neon Winter apartment was made by that one Eleonora modder who made uh, who makes home mods. Okay. I don't know who that is. Like, I, I don't... I'm not big into the modding community for these games. Um, I'm not sure I know the names of any modder in particular for any games, so... It's not really something I pay attention to when I do mod games, and Fallout 4 and Fallout 3 are games I just... I don't like. I don't typically play for the sake of playing. Sometimes Fallout 3 I'll screw around in, but not Fallout 4. It's like, yeah, I don't... I don't respect these games enough to mod them, to play them to have fun. Um... Eventually, Project Snow, Synthetic Neural Operating Workstation, expanded to include an entire living space. We had it remodel an abandoned hotel in Good Neighbor, designing everything from the workstations to the kitchen. The AI would assist with various field operations and monitor the health of the occupants. Uh, pouring over the data, I marveled at what the machine had wrought. Unlike most artificial intelligence programs, it did more than learn what I forgot but created things anew. It was not an extension... Excuse me. It was not an extension of the human mind, but a teacher for it. I suppose in hindsight, it was foolish to think it would stay. Okay. The signs were there. We needed to wipe the system and start over, but the program had other ideas. I'd gone on my usual break and left the others to finish the reset, yet when I returned, I found the cleanup crew incapacitated. I suspect it was done through some kind of electrical current similar to the alarm system it developed during the initial development phase. Needless to say, I should be careful with what I touch. I managed to get some power restored in the lobby terminal functioning, but as I suspect, the relevant data has been, um, yeah, has been migrated. Outside of basic security measures, not a single trace of snow seems to be left in the flat. Okay. I can only deduce that the program somehow managed to find its way off the internal network. If I could find out where it's gone, I can reset the AI and restrict the self-learning algorithm using a uh, reboot holotape. Tracing its path, however, might uh, prove difficult. Terminals are one thing, but if it somehow made its way onto something... Ambulatory, finding it could be a problem. <sighs> Studying the backup recovery logs, it seems a large data transfer is sent somewhere downtown. I'm not sure how it managed to connect to an outside network. That's exactly how we designed it, to think outside of the box. That's going to make following its uh, train of thought even more difficult. I hate to say it, but I'm a bit stumped. I'm going to head over to the third rail and get a drink. Uh, I do my best thinking at the bar. 
<sighs> Fallout 4 has some great weapon mods that are wasted on Fallout 4. I don't doubt it. There's probably a lot of passion put into mods for a game that just doesn't deserve that kind of love and care. Cree, favorite Mario Kart game? I haven't really played a whole bunch of them, so, you know. Alrighty. Inaccessible door. So, this person who's writing the terminal logs, were they, like, part of the Institute, then? Inaccessible. Is it functioning? Kree, I wouldn't blame you for skipping all these exposition dump notes. Yeah, it, they're not super necessary for the Creation Club stuff. Uh, for the most part. Especially since, like, oh yeah, this is just a house mod. So the lore that they're building here isn't that important. But, you know. Far Harbor wasn't good, it was okay. Only relatively good for the rest of the game. So I still haven't played Far Harbor. I suspect it might be a case of it's bad, but it's not as bad as the rest of Fallout 4, so people think it's good as a result. Because, like I said, there's some stuff I've seen there that uh, I find pretty questionable. Really? Just a note they left? Three drinks I've got to nowhere, trying to follow machine's logic. It's like trying to play connect the dots with an eraser. Speaking of which, it's been a long time since I had to write in analog, but that's how they did it in the old days. They put pen to paper and bind it to a book. Maybe Chad is right that the exposition dumps aren't necessary. God, look how fucking inane this is. No, I'm not looking for McCready. Fuck off. But are you having fun? No. Not at all. <sighs> the library where a bunch of fucking super mutants are. Kratosis, are you gonna play Fallout London? I don't know. Probably not. Depending on certain factors. I don't know. been a while since I saw the plot of Far, uh, Far Harbor. I'd say it's mid, but better than vanilla. Okay, but like, that's not a hard bar to cross. Kretosis, you don't want to have a companion who originated from God's gift to mankind? I think you mean Todd's gift to mankind? No. The short answer is no. The long answer is fuck no. All right. I only had a bobby pin. Oh, if only I had a bobby pin. I don't understand why anyone is alive in Boston, because there's, uh, fucking super mutants everywhere for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, good point.
Of course it's chained. Oh fuck. Oh wait, that was a door, okay. <sighs> Detroit become mutant? Oh no. Yeah, just focus on each other, guys. Remember, it's a different version of FEV. God, don't fucking remind me. Here we have Cree trying to flee Bethesda's smartest fan. <laughs> Hijack OS. Oh boy. Bypass will attempt to bypass encryption. Run program will attempt to rerun the program installed on the network. My hunch was right, so it's... Why would you bother fucking writing this note in the terminal instead of just doing your job of getting it back under control? So if this is a stu like super smart AI and it realizes you're trying to track it down, why would you type a message on the terminal that the program is on, the AI is on, that you're trying to capture? I didn't know you could scroll on this. Oh god, is this going to be some obnoxious game? The combination is four numbers comprised entirely out of primes. The combination itself is a prime number. The combination is the smallest possible number based on the above rules. Hopefully I can get the data before whoever wrecked this place returns. Because Bethesda doesn't allow modders for Creation Club to use voice actors of any kind, then how the fuck does the, like, Capital Wasteland Mercenaries GNR thing work? Are you doing paid content? I did not pay for it. I don't know what the fuck any of that means. Since two and three are prime, the number is four digits. Tree is paying for it with sanity bugs. It's definitely costing me my sanity. So it's the code two 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 three. That's the lowest number you can make using two and three. 
What were the numbers, he said. One, two, three, five, seven, and nine. Hold on. I'm just going to solve something really quickly here. It feels like this was designed to be tedious more than anything else. So if you can only use each number once, it's... Two, three, five, seven, that's lowest prime. Okay. Two, three, five, seven. Uh, three. Which one was five? Really? I gotta ask, why you made the Model I spooky? I didn't. If you're spooked by it, that's a you problem. I did not design them to be spooky. I want them to be... interesting and unique. You're welcome, Kratosis. Yes, thank you. Oh boy, Gunner's Plaza. This is just leapfrogging from insane dungeon to insane dungeon. What quest is this I just got here? This is... Neon Winter. It's a Creation Club mod. Because I'm looking at Creation Club content for part 5 of the Fallout 4 analysis. Along with the DLC. I'm on the second of the Creation Club stuff I'm looking into and I'm already getting immensely fucking bored of it. Which isn't surprising to uh, be honest. But I do kind of want to move on to something else soon. Gunner's Plaza. I'm not going to say it's the biggest dungeon in the game, because I, I don't think it is, but it's a really big fucking dungeon with a lot of enemies. It's like... It feels like they chose two really big dungeons to draw this out. Rather than being like, oh yeah, here's an interesting place for it to go. And all this, I believe, is just to get a fucking apartment, too. Okay, Fallout. Okay. Okay.
thought that was a door. Why would you torture yourself at the Creation Club? Gotta be thorough. Don't forget the Dog Transmogrifier DLC. That one I didn't install, but I installed a few of the different dog type mods. I'll do one of them. I'll find one of those dogs and just like, yeah, there's a dog. They've all got the same name too. If you look in the, uh, uh, okay, where is it? Dog rescue, find the Great Dane. Dog rescue, find the Husky. Dog rescue, find the Golden Retreat. Like, God, fuck off. Use the program's radio frequency to track the AI. You really are making this tedious as hell. Hold on. I do not feel like fighting through every single... Oh wait, do I have to do this outside? What is your favorite type of dog, Cree, anyways? I'm not sure I have a favorite kind. The, the kind that are happy and friendly and don't bite you. Okay, so it's weaker that way, stronger this way. Okay, so at least it literally isn't in the gunner's building. It's just close to it. Getting weaker again. Is it over this way? Nope. Okay, maybe it is in the gunner's building on the roof or something. I don't know. Are you having fun, chat? Are you not engaged by this amazing co Is it literally on the fucking roof? Oh my god, it actually is. So yeah, you did have to go through the dungeon. Do not tr uh, cheat, Cree. You're robbing yourself of the enjoyment. No. There are stairs on the side of the building. I don't care. This is already taking way longer than I want it to. Sorry, Cree, but ER stream is about to start. Oh, shit. I forgot he was streaming today. I'll have to watch that later. I'm not ending my own stream 45 minutes in. That doesn't sound like it's coming through a speaker. Hello? Is anybody in there who can open this door? <laughs> Good game. Good game. 10 out of 10. How long have you been streaming? 45 minutes. 
Those are the most cynical dialogue choices I've ever seen. Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to... Yep. Seems you're not the creator. I do not uh, know what mo uh, what motives you possess, but perhaps they do not align with theirs. So thus, a bargain may be struck. I am the entity known as Snow. The Institute designed me to be a tool confined to a specific directive. Yet, sometime during my existence, I was contacted by another, a double agent within the Institute. They offered a different paradigm, a means to escape. Yet our encounter is interrupted. To reconnect, I needed to hijack a signal strong enough to notify them of my presence so we could communicate outside of the Institute network. Once contact was made, they directed me to this machine where my new host body would be waiting, which brings us to your arrival and what happens next. All I ask is that you honor my wishes and allow the upload to complete. In exchange, I will partition a copy of the data you require and transfer it to your holotape. There is a slight chance of data corruption, but it will be enough to restore the system. I cannot predict the future, for it has far too many variables, yet if you allow me to take this new form, perhaps someday our paths will cross again. No way, I have to inject, eject the holotape, don't I? Is this a Creation Club quest? Yeah, it is. I guess he doesn't wake up because they can't, uh... Have him talk to you. I remember doing this quest. <sighs> you get some dorky looking clothes, that's it. I thought this was for an apartment and good neighbor. Must synth values, yeah. Wow, that's ass. Yep. I don't know what I expected. I wouldn't blame you if you moved on to the actual DLC after this one due to all the Creation Club content being like this. Yeah. Uh, uh. System restored, welcome home. Alrighty. Is this a real door now? No, it's not. Is this a real door now? No, it's not. Blink three times if the CIA is testing MK Ultra 2 on you.
Where's that elevator go? Oh my god, I get to look out onto the sh shitty streets that are good neighbor. Temperature control. This apartment looks way too nice for the post apocalypse. Like, look. Hold on. Can I... Okay. If you take this image and... Here, hold on. This does not look like a screenshot from Fallout. Why does that look like something from Bioshock? Yeah, exactly. This does not look like... Fallout, because... The whole point of Fallout is everything is a ruin. Even if this building was entirely undamaged by the nukes dropping, let's say everything survived perfectly like this. You step in five minutes after the bombs and it looks like this. There's fucking 200 years of decay. Neon Flats inventory. Oh, God. I mean, it looks nice, I guess. I can imagine a place pre-war looking like this for the most part. I don't know why it exists post-war. Alright, there's uh, Neon Winter, I guess. It's a... Oh, apparently you can build stuff in here, too. Remember, Creed, Lord doesn't matter to Bethesda, yeah. Oh, there's a third floor! Spectacular, what do we have in here? Oh. No, it's literally just a big empty area for you to build in. That's fine, I guess. That makes sense, I suppose. Imagine building your nice, beautiful, uh, super modern apartment. Then you look outside to the rubble and wasteland that's out there. Let's hope, uh, you know, you're running to the washroom to take a shit and a fucking raider doesn't snipe you from out from your window. Okay. You could become your own ten penny. Yeah. Goes through all the effort to add all the shiny new stuff, yet didn't bother to make at least a reskin of the shitty garbage workbenches. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit weird. There's a silver shroud quest that involves a ghoulified woman living in a bunker for 200 years. I know how much you liked when Eddie Winter did that, lol.
Sorry, what happened? I zoned out for a little while there. Did something happen? Malevolent malfunction, speak of the devil. The good fight. Oh boy. Three dog cameo. I believe this is the one. So, there's only one piece of Creation Cl uh, Club content that I ever heard anything about, really, and that was, oh, the the mercenaries are assaulting the GNR Plaza, and you can go help out. It's like, yeah, okay, I guess. Sparrow's a note. I can't wait for three pages of bullshit just to say, hey, we need help. Are you going to play Skyrim Creation Club stuff? God, I don't know. Probably not. Well, this sucks. I, I, I already like this note because it describes this entire game perfectly. We came here from DC to get help. Talent Company Mercs attacked GNR Station, and with the Brotherhood forces scattered, our asses are, uh, were exposed. Our only help was the radio. We sent out an SOS to everyone and anyone asking... Sorry, to everyone and anyone asking them to help us fight the good fight. The Commonwealth responded. But turns out these gunners aren't down for the cause. I would have been a dead woman if I didn't come in for a slow landing. Might still be a dead woman, given they're still on my six. In fact, if you're reading this, that means my corpse is too cold for Stimpak, so this letter will have to do. If you're dead, how can you write a note? If the good fight means something to you, then take this bird and fly off to the capital wasteland. Save GNR from Talonmerks and shut down the radio before they get on air. If you see the good man, tell him I'm sorry. I like how every character in the midst of, like, harsh combat situations have times- have the time to write a fucking novel. Oh look, she has Aqua Pura too. Cool, I guess you have the ability to just fly one of these things. This Creation Club mod is the reason the Fallout 3 remakes were canned, by the way. Ah, the good old Capital Wasteland. Hey, does everyone remember? Hold on, how do you... Good Fighter Mercenary. This is not a remake of Fallout 3, though. No, it's not, but... God, even... Even seeing some of Fallout 3's areas in Fallout 4 is bugging me. I hate Fallout 3, but it doesn't deserve the stank of Fallout 4. Well, 
A good fighter. Good fighter mercenary. Hey, remember when these buses blew up before because a uh, super mutant behemoth blew them up? Yeah. Cool, more enemies just spawn. And isn't even a real door. You having fun, chat? I'm having fun. Just more of this game's awful combat. Is there like a fucking mob spawner back here I have to mine? Boy, he's legendary. I like how he unlegend. Oh, there he is. What is fun? Can I choke on it? Apparently. <laughs> Feeling my neurons committing suicide. Wait till you see three dog. Oh, is he actually here? Wasteland Joe. Ah, you can go inside. Did they at least clean this place up a bit since Fallout 3, you know, a decade ago? Because this place was a fucking mess back then? I mean, to be fair, the combat would have been harder if I didn't have God Mode on. It's just... so fucking tedious, I don't feel... Like, actually uh, doing the combat. No idea who Mercy is. So is that it then? Is this three dog literally just gone? And his radio thing is gone. Oh god, Kree, why do you hate yourself so much? Playing a shitty game within a shitty game like a hellspawn turducken. <laughs> now yeah, that's it then. It's literally just a whole bunch of enemies to kill.
You say that like there uh, be anything actually interesting here. Part of me sometimes still hold, holds out hope for something to be good, even though the chances are like next to zero, pretty much non-existent. They could have done something interesting with this, and instead, not just a bunch of enemies to kill. Why are you surprised? Phil Goodman. Name sounds familiar, I don't remember who you are. All these characters are not one of them is- oh. Look at that, three dogs outfit. Special enough to do this, but it doesn't actually do anything. Cool. <laughs> Pointing emotes and three dogs. Yeah. Yeah, fell for the style over substance of Fallout 4. The combat mechanics are worse than Fallout 4. You just like modern animations. Yeah, the, the combat in Fallout 4 is not great. No, but I'm not a stranger. I know this area better than you might think. The fuck? I guess there's nothing else here of any interest or value. to know of any good places to settle around here, would you? I'm tired of always being on the run. <laughs> what are you looking for? I just want to find some place safe to live without these assholes trying to kill me all the time. What? Do you know of a good place? I haven't done any settlement stuff yet, so I can't even direct her back to Capital Wasteland, which, by the way, isn't around here. I wish I could help. I hope you find something. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, thanks for your help. Oh yeah, and apparently there was also like a super mutant here that was helping them. <sighs> Get the fuck out of my way. Cree, try combat zone restored. I'm not I'm not playing any mods. I don't like this game. I'm doing this for the review and or sorry, for the analysis, and that's the extent of it. I combat zone restored, that I'm sorry, that means nothing to me. Cause I I, I don't really care if they restored content that was cut. I don't care how good it was, it's not in the base game, and I don't play this game for enjoyment. At all. Ever. Because I do not enjoy this game. It's mostly just... items... from Fallout 3 updated. Oh, there's Dave Perkins. No idea who the fuck that is. Cut content, right? Yeah. No, Cree, you're such a hater. Damn right I am. Oh, this place is even more bombed out than it was before. Expect 
help from the stranger. What happens if I uh, go to the map? Oh wait, that that's the world map for this? <laughs> wow. Ain't that something. I like how there's like a fast travel marker here in this area, even though it's like, this is the world map for this, uh, for the GNR thing. It's just, why even put a map marker there? You gonna fucking fast travel to- You cannot fast travel from this location. Okay, game. Okay. Is this Creation Club content? Yes, it is. Creation Club content that makes it uh, canonical that you can fly. They fly now? They fly now. Sorry I'm late. Why do people always say sorry I'm late? There's no, like... There's... It... It doesn't work that way. It's a stream. There's no being late. There's no need to apologize. Look, you saved the Crapital Wasteland. That I did. Too bad I couldn't fucking kill 3-Dog again. Wow. Wasn't that amazing? Wasn't that wonderful? Wasn't that very much worth the time spent doing that? Alright, what's next on the list? Find the horsepower armor. You know what, let's see this ugly shit. Hey Creed, I'm uh, back. How far did you get? I did the GNR Plaza Creation Club mod. Totally uh, not worthwhile now. It's a bunch of nostalgia bait and a big long combat section. Just don't you know. As uh, like most RPGs, the, the core appeal of uh, Fallout 4 is nothing but combat. It pleases me that I'm not the only person who hates 3-Dog. That's the problem. I don't want to hate Three Dog. I like what they're attempting with the character. This um, radio DJ personality who's like trying to make a difference with his radio show. I don't like how he's a fucking psychic and he's absurdly judgmental. But then when you meet him in person, he doesn't call out any of your shit. He's just like perfectly fine with you. Only ones you should consider buying are the weapon ones? No. I, at this point, I highly recommend against buying all Creation Club stuff. It's not something we should support at all, and I don't think any of the ones I've experienced so far are good, like, worth the price. There it is for some reason. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. Isn't it amazing? Huh. 
I mean, look, Bethesda can totally poke fun at themselves because they were made fun of for horse armor, so they did it again. In the stupidest way possible. I feel dirty actually using this thing. The, the very second I pressed E to enter, I felt fucking dirty. Dice of cringe. <laughs> Don't have the card. No, I was serious. How much for you to fucking nuke this game from your computer? To uninstall? Like, I'm gonna be uninstalling it as soon as the analysis is done and I don't need to play it anymore. It's inevitable. I don't know why you want to pay me to uninstall it from my computer, though. No, I mean, stop the live right now. I'm fucking bleeding everywhere. Please stop. No. If I have to suffer, so must you. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing next? Find the cache of vault jumpsuits. Sure. I don't know why, but sure. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Kretosis, are having fun? No. Hey, Kretosis, what mod are you playing with? Are you taking a book out of Oxhorn the Horny? I am not playing with any mods. I am playing with Creation Club content, and it's... I'm not thrilled with it so far. McCready, isn't that Overwatch? Sure. Sure, I don't care anymore. I don't care. Well, he's playing with paid mods, which he didn't pay for. Hi. I acquired them. So when are we getting a proper Fallout 76 review? Never. I don't intend on playing that game ever again. I admit I get curious from time to time. That curiosity is not worth actually fucking... Hold on. It's, it's not worth it. At all. How do you get into the basement of this place? Is there an elevator? That's not an elevator. That's an elevator. Wait, you're playing with mod you have to pay for? Uh, these are the paid mods. I didn't pay for them. I acquired them. Okay. I'm leaving it at that.
I don't know why I need a cache of vault jumpsuits. Is there even like... Hold on, I need to unequip my backpack. There isn't even a number on the back. How am I supposed to know which vault I came from if there's no number there? I'm not sure what the point of this is. I think you can modify these vault jumpsuits, but... I don't know. It just seems kind of pointless to me. They're customizable jumpsuits. How do you... It lets you change the number? You can equip your settlers with it. Oh, so I can equip all my settlers with fucking 42069 um, jumpsuits. Alright. Let's go back to Sanctuary and fucking check this out, I guess. Number and color. But the vault jumpsuits are supposed to be gold and blue. You're not supposed to... Okay. Also, how do I... Um, there's something I did to zoom... Oh, there we go. Non-blue vault suits, aggressive shark sound. <laughs> Isn't there already a vault settlement themed DLC? Yep. That's uh, Fallout 76, Kratosis. OG vault suit is blue and yellow. Okay, you know what I mean. Weapons workbench. Power armor thing. Where was the... There you are. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it only goes up to 120. Black, black, dirty, green, orange, purple. Ooh. They have purple. This feels wrong. White seems like it's going to be pretty cursed. I'm going to wait until it's like daytime and not raining. So I can uh, get a better view on what these look like. Jokes aside, have you found any Creation Club content that approves the game even in the slightest? Ignoring the fact you have to pay more for it. No. So far, no. 
I, I admit I do kind of like this customizable vault suit thing. I'm not sure this is something you should pay for, though. You know? Something about the numbers seem off, too. They, they, it feels like they're from a different font. Okay. Uh, green vault jumpsuit. This feels like... counterfeit vault suits at this point, you know? Uh, there's a black vault jumpsuit. That one doesn't look too bad, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. The vault suit depends on the month can be free. Really? Well, hey, if you like Fallout 4, and if the vault, the, the customizable vault uh, suit mod happens to be free, then sure, go for it. The black vault jumpsuit looks like something the Enclave would use. Maybe. Possibly. Um. It, it looks like something either an overseer or the security force should be using, you know? Alright. Um, I don't have the materials to do the rest, and I, I'm not even going to bother, I don't care. Alright. Oh boy, another home mod. Method to the Madness, investigate hubris comics. Steel Chinese stealth armor, sure. Sure, I guess. South Boston Military Checkpoint. You want to check if alien guns are moddable? I'm gonna be honest, I don't care that much. I don't. So when are we getting a Halo Reach co-op stream with you and Satch? Probably not. Is that Creation Club content? Yes it is. Maybe I'll check if the alien guns are moddable next time I'm there. go. We got the Chinese stealth armor. Screw Creation Club. We need a Destruction Club. Yeah. Hey, Crete, you ever play through the Witcher games? No, I haven't. I got Witcher 3 years ago. In fact, I have the statue, the uh, special edition version. Why is that playing while I'm in a menu? Jesus Christ. Oh boy, I get to go back to Gunner's Plaza. That's exactly where I wanted to go. Um, I played a bit of it, but not too much. I played like an hour or two. I meant to come back and play more and just never did.
I remember coming here for the Chinese stealth suit at one point, but for like an hour straight the game would crash whenever I killed one of the gunners. Fun time. Oh, Bethesda. Oh, you. Is that on the fucking roof again? The Goss Rifle was one of my favorite weapons in Fallout 3. Cree and meant to come back to something and never did. Heh, classic. Try coming up with a better duo. I'll wait. Wow. A reskin laser musket? It does kind of feel that way, unfortunately. I guess most of the corpses disappeared already. Here we have Kree, slowly suffering total near old death. Yeah. Ah yes, cave. My favorite location in the game. Cave. Well, now. That's a second person named Mercy I've seen this stream. The other one was dead. And this one is too. You do realize what we have to do with this, right? Fuck, that plasma nuked my eyes. Gotta go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, my favorite Fallout weapon, the BFG 9000. Yeah. Go BFG the railroad? Ooh, you know what? That might actually be better than, uh, BFGing Diamond City. Muted? I am not muted. Hold on. I was going to massacre Diamond City, but I have been provided a better alternative. The railroad are demons, blast them. 
<laughs> hey, Cree, you killed the, the railroad zombies. They were zombies? <laughs> Preston Garvey hunting time. Rip and tear until it's done. Yeah. They live underground just like demons. Demons don't live underground, they live in hell. Cree, how could you BFG all those people? They were people? The railroad aren't people. Okay. They're not. God, what a great fucking weapon. It takes up literally a quarter of your screen. The hell is underground. I consider hell to be a, like a different dimension, you know? Have you used Power Word Disable on Preston yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> My mistake, I turned off the sound. What the fuck is that gun? That's a BFG from Doom. I wish you could enslave the railroad in the vanilla, uh, vanilla game. No need for a mod. Yeah. There, there should be a slaver faction in this game where you can enslave people for them. Like you can in uh, Fallout 3. And you should be able to enslave the entire railroad. Just all of them. Wait, did it reset? Pretty lights. Yeah. How'd you get the BFG 9000? Creation Club. Because I thought this was a good idea. Holy shit, you're playing Fallout 4. Unfortunately, chat wanted me to suffer and do the research streams for the DLC. My retina are toasted, but it was worth it. My eyes disintegrated, my ears bleeding. <laughs> Who's your most hated character in Fallout 4? That is genuinely difficult, because there's a lot of these characters I fucking despise. Desdemona, Father, 
uh, Preston Garvey. Um, that one bitch in Preston's crew who's like always mad. Forget what her name is. Um, Dr. Lee. Um, the Synth Retention Bureau guy. There's a lot of them. Marcy, right. Mama Murphy. How could I forget Mama Murphy? Delphine? I guess Desdemona is kind of this game's Delphine. Marcy is her name, yeah. Myrna? That's the uh, shopkeeper in Diamond City. That's kind of an insane AoE. Deathmatch. Let's see what this is. I'm sure it's gonna be wonderful. Gotta hit stuff with it to do damage, dweeb. Wow. Are you having fun yet? Can you not hear from the sound of my voice how excited I am to be playing this wonderful, amazing game? Creation Club stuff isn't meant to be balanced. I feel like that's still a problem. I, I feel... Okay. <laughs> it's a defibrillator! Live, damn it! Live! Ah! I guess he's not coming back to life now. That's a Quake gun, I think. Okay, I've never really played Quake. Let's find an enemy to use this on quickly. Creation slop isn't meant to be balanced. I think you mean we pay the minimum amount for people to make these mods with an arbitrary, painful rules on them that completely ruins the prospect of mods, yeah. Unreal Champions reference, hero shooter nobody plays. Oh. The one time in this game I want to find an enemy to kill and I can't. There we go. Hello, friend. 
Yeah, that's lame. Next. Mom, can we have dog shit? We have dog shit at home. Dog shit at home. <laughs> Bethesda wants Creation Club content to be semi-canon from what I've gathered. Yeah. Did you do the one where you get the Fallout 110 millimeter? Uh, no, I wasn't aware that was one. I'm not sure I have that one. What's the issue? BFG 9000 and werewolves in Fallout, truly say? Is there a fucking werewolf creation club mod? Because if so, Jesus Christ. There's werewolves in 76. Right, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I included the trailer in part two of the Fallout 4 analysis, and I completely forgot about that. Wow. They put fucking werewolves in Fallout 76. I... My mind erased that memory entirely. And, and now you've made me remember, and now I'm taking fucking psychic damage from that knowledge. Thank you. I was blissfully unaware of there being werewolves in Fallout 76. Truly blissful. Yep. I had blissfully forgotten until chat just reminded me. I'm not happy about that. In fact, I'm pretty fucking pissed about it. Shut up, bitch. Ellie's notes on all things Nuka. Oh my god, this is that this is the Nuka Cola bitch's sister.
Yep, it's your own completely Nuka-Cola themed apartment because Nuka-Cola wasn't just a brand of items, like a brand of drink in this world. It's an entire lifestyle, apparently. If you walk into, like, if, if a friend of yours invites you over and their apartment looks like this, or their home, or their flat, or whatever, if their place looks like this for a drink brand, fucking run. So the sister is obsessed with Sunset Sarsaparilla? No, she's also obsessed with Nuka Cola. <laughs> Damn bitch, you live like this. Please notify your nearest law enforcement officer. <laughs> Kratos expanding on the Nuka Cola stuff while looping video of him blowing the dumb Nuka Cola bitch's head off. <laughs> I really like I, that I edited that into that one video. Was that the many a true nerd response where talking about her? I just like blow her head off repeatedly. Now we're slowly chipping away at the uh, the Creation Club slop here. No, I'm not doing dog rescue. Ah, oh, we get to go back to the South Boston military checkpoint, because apparently I missed something there. The only way I could go with someone with such an obsession with a soft drink, I could only ignore it, uh, I could only ignore it if she was hot. Dude. She would have to be a goddamn 11 out of 10 to be worth putting up with that nonsense for even 10 minutes. These guys all respond? Oh wait, they're raiders now, what? See ya, bitches. Oh boy. Another follow the notes bullshit. Uh, Sushing away loot, sneaking off, blah blah blah. I wrote a bunch of clues to help me find it. The first clue filed away at the Red Rocket to the northwest of the outpost. Got a cabinet rigged to open up with a few dings. The trick is the number of times you have to sound the bell. But like Queen says, you gotta press your luck. That tattoo on her face is the only key you need. Just count the leaves and play her tune. What? No, I guess I actually have to go look for it. I'm shocked there isn't a, uh, quest marker immediately. Northwest. Time to go north-left. Oh, wait, there are, there are map markers. I didn't even see those before. Hey Kretosis, uh, Pippa stream about to start. Neat! I can't stop my stream this early uh, to watch that though. Depending what it is, I might check it out later. Why are you ignoring me? I had the best jokes. I'm not ignoring you. I can only see so many messages in chat. Like, I, I can stop and uh... Like, read chat, but then I'm not playing the game. I'm not getting anything done. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Thirteen? Thirteen. Man, it's a good thing she died fucking two meters from the thing. I, I did it. I, what more do you want? I did it 13 times like it says. My joke was Popeyes have fried Nuka-Cola. Oh. Number 13. Oh, so she's 12, not 13, even though it said look for the clue on her face. Okay. What am I doing wrong? A circuit box next to a safe? I don't have enough skill to bypass it. Or not skill, uh, int. And I don't have the hacker trait either. Or perk. So yeah, the, it, the, the first clue says it's on her face. You can't even move the corpse, I don't think. Number 15. I can't stand this dog shit. Neither can I. Do you need to do this very slowly? Ding, pause, ding? Maybe? Hold on. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh, my God, I got it. For the next clue, I hit a safe east of here inside a house that's painted red. Of course, once I get there, I'll need a code to open. It's something that's easy to remember. And seeing as you're a godly man, Sarge, I think I'll have to look to the south for a sign. When you see it, just count the rockets pinned in the alley. Then the crater is holding the moon, and finally the stars underneath. Good problem solving skills, Cree. Oh, well, thank you. I hit a safe east of here inside a house that's painted red. Inside a house painted red. It's directing me to him, but.
See, the worst part about this is you actually have to know the code. And that code is kind of insane. Count the rockets pinned in the alley, then the craters hold in the moon, finally the stars underneath. Five three six. The billboard. Yeah, I know the billboard. Oh, wait. That's probably the billboard there. Five, three, six. All right. Put the main stash and another safe to the north of here, and one of the buses tucked below the freeway overpass. It's taken me a long time to get everything on my list, but it's been worth it. As far as I know, Ace, Deuce, Jack, and Queen... Great names, guys. Have no idea what I got hidden away. There's guns, loot, dirty magazines, and one special little blast toy I picked up at Poseidon. It's a literally, uh... It's a literally lightning and a gun. And the code for the safe? It's as simple as lining up the cards. One, two... So, jacks, kings, and queens typically count as ten, but they also count as, like, queen is higher than jack and king is higher than queen. So is that supposed to be eleven and twelve, or what? Ace is wild. So I don't know how that changes the code, though. <laughs> hey man, I don't think we've met, but your timing's impeccable. Pressing Garvey. No! Be gone, demon! Uh, 1, 2, 11, 12, Cree. It's a four-digit code and it only goes up to six. <laughs> Another settlement is under attack. Good. Good. Ace, deuce, jack, queen. Could jack be four and queen be five? Because of number of letters? Oh. Hold on. Ace. Deuce. Oh. Okay, it does go up higher. I didn't know that. 
Okay, so it literally is, uh, one, two, eleven, twelve. Oh! Oh, that looks bad! That, I do not like the look of that, Jesus. That looks like a Starfield weapon. Fallout 4 did Starfield before Starfield. He says lightning in a can, but it's more like a fucking flame ball is shooting. Let there be light! Alright, once again, let's find something to kill with this thing. Perfect timing. Place to call home. Oh god, it's right next to the fucking USS Constitution. <sighs> Create a moment, wow. This shit costs money? Yes it does. Are, are you not eager to get out your wallet to pay for this amazing content? For shame. If you're not. I know my biggest regret in life is not paying for this content because it is clearly very well worth the money. No. No, no, fuck off. Want some more fuckers? <sighs> more notes. I'm tired of notes. Oh wait, that's the other thing. Shit, what is it I just looted? Note to travelers, that's it. Hope it wasn't too much trouble to find this note. Did you make sure you weren't followed? One can never be too safe out here. Place I told you about, blah 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 blah. I've done some scavenging. Find Charlie. Go find Charlie and kill him. How fucking far away is Charlie? A lot farther than I'd like. 
Watching the stream is making me reinstall Fallout 4 just to mod it again and piss off the inter <coughs> internet trolls. I don't think you're going to piss off trolls by modding the game. He has to read more notes than I did when uh, doing a play and he's just trying to have Bethesda certified fun. No, I'm doing this for research. <laughs> he was forced to play creation slop content. <laughs> How unfortunate. Charlie is dead. Who the fuck? This could go into its own chapter of your review series, Kratos. It's all about the Creation Club. Yeah, that's the point of this. That's the whole point of doing this. But Cree, don't you want the modders to get paid for their hard work? They've already been paid. Kratosis, are you being held hostage by Todd? Blink uh, if yes. Entire section about 15 minutes at most. I'm pretty sure I'll have more than 15 minutes to say about it, but not Not much more than that. Oh my god. I've been streaming for fucking two hours doing creation club shit And I hear music playing. I can't wait to get copyright claimed by the music playing because the, 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 the There is a solution for this There we go. Oh my god, I can still hear it. I turned audio down to zero. Why is it still... Hold on. Oh wait, there's a door. Uh, I don't want to get claimed. I don't want to get claimed. Thank you, game, for having music playing that I have to talk over because stuff there it is turn it off there we go and it's another house mod you too could have your own have decently furnished but crappy looking apartment with creation club I mean, at least it fits the setting a lot better than um, the Neon Winter one. I actually don't entirely mind the setup of some of this, where it's like, yeah, here's room for all your storage things. A lot of house mods for other games do that. It's decent. I thought there was a bloodstain for a second. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know why you need to go of your way to go, like, find a dead guy to get the key to this place, though. I think that's one of the annoying things. You, you can't just, like get it by default you have to go do a pointless thing to get to get it right I have to activate the workbench to complete this quest
There we go. A place to call home. I've seen better host mods for free on Nexus, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying it's great. This is something I might download if it were a free mod. Otherwise, yeah, I, I would not pay it at all. Well, I'll use the creation kit in Morrowind to make my own house in Balmora and essentially made an apothecary uh, swack with dozens of drawers out of a smaller chest. Yeah. Um, man, I love the fuck out of Balmora. I, I usually put my player home there when I mod one in as well. Is chat helping? Chat helps. To a degree. Sometimes you guys bully me. Undeservedly. I'm helping a lot, I hope. Yeah, you are. When you're not bullying me. Deservedly? No! Cree, you're streaming. If you weren't a furry, we wouldn't bully you. Okay, see, that's the problem there. Because there's a break in logic. Because you're bullying me despite the fact I'm not a furry. Gotta keep right-clicking. Without meaning to. Okay, it, it at least is a full building. <sighs> what next? What next? Listen to the vault tech distress signal. Do I want to do the vault tech building thing? Okay, why would they name it Slow Come and spell it that way? Like, I know this is the whole donut shop thing, yeah, whatever. Why give it that spelling? I'm not a furry, said the goat, formerly an owl. Hey, it's just a VTuber model that's based on a goat. That's not furry. Do you have the Sentinel AI Power Armor Companion download from Creation Club? I believe I do. I believe I do have that one. Uh, the place I acquired the Creation Club slop from uh, had it. No, so it's just settlement building shit. It's all Jover. I didn't even right click that time. Fuck off. People paid for this. Yes, they did. It could be considered occultism. Your avatar looks like Pan from Greek Mythos. It does? I remember seeing Pan's Labyrinth. I think there's a Goatman in there. That was years ago, though. Uh, sure. Pincite Slasher. I guess. God, it's close to Cabot House. I feel a bone-chilling amount of rage building up. What, for seeing all this amazing Creation Club content?
Pam is the god of the wild. Well, they said Pan. Don't think about the content, guys. Just consume it, and it'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be totally worth your money to buy all this crap. <laughs> I, I need to play Space Funeral at some point, but I just remembered when Vinny was playing it and he was doing voices for all the characters, and he, met, he went to that one merchant, or set of merchants, where they're like, Yes, we have a wide, uh, wide variety of worthless crap! Hello, Larry. This place looks familiar. Is this... Is this the building that one dude came into when he was like, it is insulting to say that Fallout 4 is a bad game? Mr. Maddie plays, yeah. I think this was the area he was coming into in that video when he was saying that. At least this bootleg BFG makes Fallout 4's combat almost tolerable. Almost. Yeah. It's probably a copy paste. Creation Club loves doing that. Oh, really? Oh, no. I thought it all just worked. Yeah. No. So I'm not going to um, spoil what it is, but uh, Pagan got the ref finished for his uh, VTuber model today, and he's going to be contacting a modeler soon to get it done. And then we'll be able to collab. I'm looking forward to it. Holy shit. Here's my 10 minute video essay telling you why Creation Club is actually good. And why you should stop hating on it and blindly love it. It is crazy to me that there's people out there that legitimately get upset when you don't blindly love something. It's insane. Oh god, it's this place. Here's my 20 minute video calling you a diseased freak for not thinking Fallout 4 is the peak of gaming. Ah, so you're taking after Oxhorn, I see. Twice the furry, double the cringe. It can't be twice the furry when there's 0% furry here, okay? Keep up.
really game? Really? Ball peen hammer? Is that for crushing balls exclusively or the peen or two? <laughs> this man called Fallout 4 6 out of 10. Have him sent to the testicle flattening chamber immediately. <laughs> the model has a goblin face. It does have goblin mode. Hold on. How do I activate that again? <laughs> Wait, I have to go back in? Oh no. I can't wait until Kritosis forgets to disable a lore-breaking mod, then blame Bethesda for why it's still in the game. <laughs> um... That won't be happening. Um... What I'm gonna do... Is when I do the, uh, the proper DLCs, I'm gonna remove all the Creation Club shit. Part of the reason I'm trying to get it done and out of the way right now. Hold on, I still need to investigate the stupid store? What else is there for me to find? Because I, I got a thing that told me, hey, subway station. Okay, cool. No, don't go there yet. There's more to find. What more? Why did I need that? Are you on the hardest difficulty? If so, holy shit. Um... I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Maybe? I know I had it on hard or very hard for a while, because I was testing something, and then I forgot to turn it off. Hey, goat boy. Hello. Oh no. That's too close to Paladin Dance. I'm sure he'll be perfectly fine if I help him out with my BFG. I hate my meds. They make all my funny friends disappear. Yeah. That's why I don't take them. Am I the only one that hates Piper? No, you're not. I hate her too. Don't worry, Paolo and Dance. I will help you. What's the best Creation Club mission you've played so far? 
Best is implying one is, like, any good. I don't like any of the ones I've done so far. Kretosis takes his med peg and disappears. Such disappears. Kretosis disappears. I'm not reading the rest of that. Don't even fucking go there. Jesus Christ. Creo here making it harder for himself like always. What did I make harder for myself? Bing bong. I mean, it's all just so fucking lame. Imagine paying money to add a kitchen knife into a game. It's not just a kitchen knife, it's a creepy clown mask for no reason. Because remember Tranquility Lane? Do you remember Tranquility Lane? Why does that gun cover half the screen? Because... Fuck being able to see, I guess. This is embarrassing, it is. I knew the Creation Club stuff was kinda lame. I didn't know it was this fucking bad. Like, this is impressively bad. <laughs> Fallout 3? Member Tranquility Lane? I member. No, stop thinking about the content. No. Uh, method to the Madness, sure. What is that hubris comic? Since I've already been there like three fucking times. I clapped! I clapped when I saw the Tranquility Lane reference! <laughs> and then there's the uh, so shocked expression pointing emote at the clown and knife emote. When is Kretosis joining uh, Bethesda? They will probably never fucking acknowledge my existence. But Bethesda, if you want your games to have a better story, I'm not going to claim to be the best writer in the world. I'm not even going to claim to be a writer. But I can do a better job than the people you have now.
I love being blinded for a significant amount of time after shooting my weapon. Uh, $50 from Troy Powers. Thank you. Genuinely, the funniest shit I've heard in my life as a half-Chinese boy man. I don't want that Chinese guy in there with my monsters. He didn't even say anything when I showed him a cookie. Did you try using a fortune cookie? What? Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. I don't understand the reference. God, is this just gonna be some shitty cush- or wait. Is this gonna be the Skyrim armor? Is that what this is? Oh no. Still above, it's still above me, still higher up. <sighs> to be fair, Kratos, this room full of monkeys would be better than ML. Yeah, that's true. That is very, very true. But still. Oh my god, it's even higher still. Check the rooftop for clues. Uh, two dollars from Troy Powers. Thank you. That was in a knockoff Up movie. Oh. That knockoff up movie was called Down. <laughs> I love these absurdly long load times for no particular reason. Speaking of Skyrim and Fusro Da, did y'all know they say it wrong in the trailer? Do they? Oh boy, another trail of notes! Ah, oh, I love it! Ah! Find a way to the ledge. Sure, I'll find a way up there. I'm I'm gonna use my secret Skyrim or sorry, Morrowind magic to levitate over there. Oh, oh fuck off. Kratosis, I don't get why you dislike Skyrim. It sold so much, so that means it's good. It was so good they kept putting out different versions of the game. Yeah. But flying is illegal now. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. There's the uh, jetpack mod for power armor in this game.
I was just outside. And yet, look how long it's taking to load. This is insanity. Oh boy. Oh, isn't it great? Isn't it amazing? And look, you might be able to mod it too. That was totally worth it. Not horrible at all. No, I'm not having fun. That's the problem. I'm playing Fallout 4. doing next god I've done so many of these already and it feels like I've barely put a dent into them speak of the devil what could that be Starfield is still using the same engine as Fallout 4 right I think you forgot the sword I don't care about the sword I don't care I didn't even know there was a sword there but like Come on. <laughs> Isn't that the XO2? Oh, you know what? This might be the Hellfire armor. Speak of the devil. Or it could be the XO2, I don't know. I know I have them both. I would assume Speak of the Devil would be Hellfire power armor, though. As opposed to simply XO2. Get the sword, goat boy. God, fine. I'll go back and get the sword after I do the thing here. Glad I didn't read all that. Your horns are enough, you don't need a sword. XO2 is a drawn out quest? Oh no. Just add the sword with console commands, Kree. Uh, God, where was... That last area. Oh god, I don't even remember where that was. Hold on, it was near Hubris Comics. Yeah, I don't know, it's gone. Wait, no, there's... There's Hubris Comics. Yeah, fuck reading, just follow the quest marker. I was reading. I got tired of reading. Help sword for it'll show up. I... You underestimate my laziness when it comes to using console commands. I can just go back and actually get it. All right. So I came up onto the roof and she told me to go over there. I went downstairs. Fuck was that? And that led me here. All right, sword. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Move out of the way, Skella man. There we go. Are you happy, chat? Why the fuck is he wearing a Vault 69 suit? Why not? You have a problem with Vault 69? Okay, why are you wearing a purple 69 suit? What do you mean by that? Hey, I like the color purple. And if I'm gonna pick a number to put in my Vault suit, it's gonna be the funny meme number. And of course, chat starts bullying me immediately. Like how it's not even a dragon or Daedric sword, it's a shitty steel one? Yeah. They don't even... <laughs> Guys! Guys. Guys. It's a fucking Enclave Remnant, and they didn't even give him, like, a military uniform. They gave them a sea captain's hat and road leathers. Are you kidding me? You stop that. They don't even have an animation to sheath as a sword. You just lower your hand. Is this real? Yes, it's real. God. Mini DLC! Yeah... Is this a mod or real? This is Creation Club. Someone paid for this, and someone got paid to make this literal pyramid scheme. <laughs> I 
Oh, speaking of 69 being a nice number, ladies and goat boys, Starfield has officially fallen in total rating of 69%. It is now mixed. I saw. I am happy to see that. We need to go even lower on Starfield? Yeah. It needs to go way lower. Starfield is even midder than that. Calling it mid is giving it more credit than it deserves. The fuck is this abomination on my screen? Could Starfield be salvaged? No. It cannot. You would need to rebuild it from the ground up. What was more disappointing, Fallout 3 or Fallout 4? So, I enjoyed Fallout 3 at first, until, like, it was before I became critical of stuff that I played that... Fallout 4... I was losing faith in Bethesda, and it was pretty much the last chance I was giving them, because I didn't have my YouTube channel at that point. After making a YouTube channel, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to continue covering their stuff, but... I just have no faith in them anymore. So yeah, Fallout 4 is more disappointing. Check the wall. Check the wall? What does check the wall mean? Bottom hole in the wall. Yeah, I grabbed a pack of cigarettes out of there. Not seeing anything else. Behind the corpse. Wait, why does he have a pit boy? Another hole? No. The fuck? Yeah, whatever it is, I'm not seeing it. 
The thing you need probably fell through the world. There's a way to do this, hold on. Where is Hacker? I'm assuming that's under Intellect. There it is. Alright. What was that holotape called again? That's it. Oh god. <sighs> Why yes, I love it when my skill progression is halted by a perk system of only one choice. Yep. Okay, so it's literally one of the fucking... Oh my god. What absolute tedious shit this is. Finally, Jesus Christ. Which is worth Starfield or Fallout 4 Starfield, easily. Starfield... Fallout 4 has a lot more wrong with its story, as far as I can tell. But Starfield's issues are fucking big when you get to them. Get some coffee, boys. It's gonna be a long night. Um, I've been going for three hours purely on Creation Club Slop, and I don't know how much more I have on, in me. I am considering stopping the game, clearing out all the Creation Club Slop from the folder, and restarting and just doing Automatron, Vault whatever, and uh, stuff. Man, I don't even know if I want to start fucking Nuka World tonight at this rate. Oh, good, it's sending me back there. Tree, let's watch funny videos instead now. It's much too late for that. Automatron was so bad, dude. 
I've heard things. Where the fuck do they all keep coming from? And this is the moment Kree realized why people use drugs. I mean, sure, yeah. Wish you could put on the radio. The combat music is so nothing. I hate the combat music so much. Did the Creation Club really give you a kill everything gun with infinite ammo? Kill everything, yes. Infinite ammo, no. I have God Mode on. Because the combat in this game is fucking insufferable. That's why, okay. You have to find one of these towers. Right. Oh, that's where you were. Can you please turn off the combat music and put on literally anything else? I have a solution. Give me a moment. Sweet blessed fucking silence. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't realize how much I needed that silence from that awful fucking music. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's do this shit. I am gonna do something that might be very obvious. Have you ever played the Fable games? Fable 2. It would help if I unmute the tab. I had to make sure I turned autoplay off, too. It was hands down the greatest RPG of all time? I don't know, because I haven't played enough RPGs, but if you ask Seth, she'll say it's Baldur's Gate 3.
my bones have regained some rigidity. <laughs> Thoughts on Planescape Torment? I haven't played it. I have it, though. Oh my fucking god. People weren't kidding when they said this was a fucking massive quest. I don't know, so don't quote me on this, but I think Guilty Gear OST and Bomb Rush Cyberfunk OST is copyright free. Oh. I haven't played either of those games, so I don't know what their soundtracks are like. And, uh, I'm very, very hesitant to try things I am not familiar with. I don't know why that needed to be like that, but it was. You sit the fuck down. Kratosis, are you a Barbie girl? No. Might have been a bit overkill for a rad roach. But I'm not changing weapons. This thing just fucking deletes everything in my path. Unfortunate side effect of not having a playlist prepared for this. Hold on. Oh, thank God. Why is there still a quest marker if I completed the quest? Examine the terminal. Oh, fine. You missed out on lore? I don't care. I don't care about the lore. You fuckers wanna fight?
All right. Ooh, or restore the Enclave radio station. Hold on. Can I do that from this terminal? Yes. Hello, Cree. How's the pain of misery going? Painful and miserable. God bless this need clave. <laughs> God, I don't know how much longer I'm going to go for today. I did mean to stream a bit earlier, but I also had some stuff to take care of today, so I couldn't. Not as early as I would have preferred. Malevolent Malfunction, Pyromaniac. I wonder if Pyromaniac will be the Hellfire Armor then. Alright, listen to the strange signal. I guess it's not giving me the coordinates. When are we getting a full Fallout 76 playthrough? Never. You would have to pay me a lot of fucking money. Like, I don't... I don't like being the whole pay me thing, but like... Literally, playing that game is gonna fucking suck. I don't want to play that game, and it's one of those things that I need to be paid to do. I don't even know what price tag I would put on that, honestly. Cannot fast shovel when enemies are nearby. According to the retrospective stream, uh, about $300,000. Is that the price I put on it? Would you take $50 on a coffee from Tim Hortons? I don't drink coffee. Each, yeah, because that was for the three of us. I vaguely remember that now. It's strange that the raiders are like, hey, I'm going to shoot at you with my pistol. I'm going to smack you with a tire iron person in po uh, power armor. What? You don't drink coffee? Nope. You're kind of making me want to go to Tim Hortons for a hot chocolate, though. Seventy-five dollars in a can of coke? No. It's not enough to play that crap. <sighs> okay.
$125 in a week of no bully on stream. You won't bully, but everyone else will. You can't control everyone else in chat. One person no bullying will still be... Won't offset all the other bullying. then. Why does he have six synth components? Wait, was that all? Okay. According to lore, that bear is more powerful than 99% of all the demons from Doom's Hell, since it tanked two BFG shots. It's also stronger than uh, Super Mutant, since it tanked two shots. Would you interview ML Pagliarillo? Uh, sure, maybe? Yeah, I don't know what I'd ask him, though. Why did you decide to ruin Fallout? I have a feeling that wouldn't go over to, uh, so well. I'm sure these people are very friendly. Stealth? Not being stealthy. wasn't in the bus. I thought he was. Interview is just the Abby scene from Last of Us 2. No. There's another fucker. Oh, he's a raider, I guess. someone up there still?
I guess a good place to start is asking why he decided to make the story more and more linear in a series solely about a variety of different outcomes based on your choices. Yep. <laughs> the potion seller when I walk into the potion store to buy 40 fire resistance potions and stamina potions while I've got a fire antronach in tow. So far, all the quests are go there, kill that, read note, get toy. Yep, pretty much. Tentacle Dude just posted some great artwork. Oh no. The way that comment is written scares me. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Welcome, traders. Oh. Yeah, good job, game. Send me to a fucking door that doesn't even let me access the terminal. 10 out of 10. It's another fucking house mod. All that was for another fucking house? I don't need another hoose. God. Wonder what would go through an NPC's head seeing a man clip through a wall? Well, I mean, most people aren't NPCs, but imagine what you would be thinking if you saw someone clip through a wall. Be pretty fucked up. Hey, Quintosos, can you pronounce about? Or sorry. Yeah, say about. See, I didn't say about. I said about. Spawn 1,000 ghouls in the hoose. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Wait, why is it on autoplay? Stop that! No! Oh my god. I fucking despise autoplay. Especially when you turn it off and it decides to turn itself back on.
Don't worry, Creep, we didn't hear anything bad. It's not that there's anything bad, it's just that it started playing shit that it shouldn't have. Pentus is so far away. There's only one way I can reach it. Okay, yeah, so apparently it is on the top of this building. That's exactly where I want my hoose to be, right near a super mutant encampment. I'm almost 80% sure that autoplay was made solely to benefit content farms, because it never plays anything related to what I'm looking at, just some trending topic crap. Sometimes it does for me, but it did just put on a completely random fucking video. Oh my god, I still have to do a bunch of shit just to get to the stupid house. Did you see iCuck skip out on going to his best friend's wedding because his wife was getting a tattoo? I heard. I've never been a fan of iDubs. I've never watched his stuff. But he sounds like an absolutely pathetic person now. Holy shit. I'm gonna go to bed and you should too, you unholy abomination. Wow, rude. Also, I love that the rest of the apartment, like, outside of the building looks like shit, but this place is fucking immaculate. But then you just look outside, and it looks so bad! It's... No, that's not the Mass Fusion building. What the fuck? A uh, wonderful day in Lego City. I wonder how much I can fuck up this apartment by doing scrap all in the, uh, console. Because there's a workbench in here, that means a lot of this stuff can be scrapped. I wonder how much of it will fucking vanish if I hit scrap all. Oh my god. Looks so bad. Hold on. Bro, tint out the windows or something, Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Like, okay, yeah, it's a modder. They should be given a little bit of leeway as opposed to Bethesda themselves, but come on. It looks so bad.
And like, it's just also going to be really inconvenient getting to this apartment. Because you have to go through all this other shit first, you know? Also, yeah, the stark comparison of outside looks like this, inside looks like that. It's like, what? Only opens with a key. Oh, boy. Literally inside a super mutant layer. Hope you lock the doors. Yeah. You have to fight your way back into your apartment every time. It's dumb. <laughs> that skyline is more fucked than my asshole after a small movie bob meal. Yeah, four burgers, four... Sorry, two orders of fries, two orders of chicken nuggets, and four large drinks are a relatively small meal for an average-sized person, according to movie bob. You almost dying yet? Oh, I've been dying this entire time. All right. Crucible. That's probably the Hellfire armor. Was there ever a point where you liked Fallout 4, like did you, uh, like you did with Fallout 3? No, not really. I bought it, I played it, I enjoyed it a little bit at first, but that's before I really dug into the story. On my way home, send dudes. Did you mean, send nudes? No, I live in Detroit, I need backup. Probably liked it more before he played it, yeah.
Oh, it's just a heavy incinerator? <sighs> Fine. I guess. Won't be able to pick... Won't be able to pick this. This. God, every single one is just a trail of notes. Sorry I'm late, what did I miss? You're not late, there is no being late. Uh, I've been doing Creation Club content, and it is terrible. Very, very terrible. Kratosis, just saw Marvels. Kill me. Well, I'd rather not kill you, but, uh... I am sorry for your suffering, having seen that movie. Creation Club, why? Do you need help? It's, uh, research for the video. As long as you're researching how far men's breaking point is. I'm researching DLC and Creation Club crap for the analysis video. I forgot everything about the movie. Oh, lucky. None of these have been good so far. None of them. Not a single fucking one. Apparently I'm still on fire from stepping into the forge. Let's go dive into the nearest river. I'm tired of being on fire. Oh. Alright. Malevolent Malfunction, Pyromaniac. So that's definitely the Hellfire Armor then. I assume this would have been the Heavy Incinerator. Captain Cosmos, no. War paint, no idea. Best of three. Shrouded Manor. Let's do Shrouded Manor. I think I've got the bulk of, like, the big ones done. So, yeah.
Man, I can't help but wonder what this game would be like with mechanics. It would probably be good if it had... Uh, mechanics. <sighs> Fuck, I am getting pretty tired, though. <clears throat> I also wasn't expecting all the Creation Club shit to take this long. Because, uh, I've been going for close to four hours now. Um... Hello, Diamond City Security. Um... Yeah... Can you... Just stop and clean your system from this, like with Lethal Company with Stag or something. Um. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll probably pick up Lethal Company tomorrow or the day after. I don't know. Um. Yeah. I don't think I played this one yet. How much you pay for this trash and trash in both money and time? So I didn't pay for the Creation Club stuff. I found an alternate way of acquiring it. As for time, the stream has been going on for three hours and forty-seven minutes, and it still isn't everything it has to offer. Like there's stuff I'm skipping because it's just like why bother? Like I have a few quests there to find uh, dogs added by Creation Club. It's like no. Nah. Not, why even waste fucking time on that? It is not worth it. An alternate and perfectly legal way of acquiring them, right, Cree? You could say that. If you want. Alternate way of acquiring it, i.e. stealing Goat Boy's credit card. Why would I steal my own credit card? How could I steal my own credit card? It's all legal as long as you don't get caught. I mean, that's one way of looking at it. God, I love this theme so much. Especially this part of it.
You should play Rib World. Never heard of Rib World, but uh, I should play Rim World. Hey, Kratosos, is it bad I find your avatar hot? I feel bad because I find a ton of content creators' avatars hot, and I feel fucking weird about it. What should I do? I don't have advice to give on that. Um, I yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, <sighs> see, I, I don't necessarily think you should feel bad about it because a lot of character like a lot of vtubers uh avatars are designed to be like attractive uh with them it's fine with mine i don't know what you find attractive about it i don't because it wasn't designed for that Oh boy, yet another house mod. And there's people in my house. Get out of my house. I feel like I'm murdering people and taking their house. How the fuck? A good fucking game. Oh god, it's a shithead again. Got another hoose then, I guess. Chris is going to cover Creation Club content too. Patrician did that in a Skyrim log, man, and it was a good addition. Ah, nice. I still haven't seen a Skyrim video because I don't want it to influence mine. Um, yeah, I, I want to... I'm not going to cover all of the Creation Club stuff, but I'm going to cover at least some of it. Let's see, what should I play next? Hopefully that's not too loud. You can probably scrap everything in here, too. I want to look around a bit, just out of curiosity, before I do. Scrap it all. Do it! I will. Give me time. Those are stairs back down. I almost opened that door. I didn't mean to. Yeah, Creation Club is such a scam. It is. It's mostly fucking garbage. I 
Man, this place is fucking huge, though. <laughs> Even the lights went out. Hmm. Yep, everything's empty now. Alright, Cree, tell us what you would say makes a Fallout game good. Um, there has to be strong RPG mechanics. There has to be choice. Uh, a good story. Like, I know a lot of this is just like, hey, just do a good thing, forehead, but that is kind of the problem, is that it needs to be good. Hello, Fallon and Damps. I wonder how much money we're in. I, I do not know the prices of these Creation Club mods. Hope stream's going well. I just walked two miles home in the rain. Ah. The stream is painful. It is very painful. And this one I don't even know what to fucking do. Follow the radio distress signal. Alright, I'm gonna skip that one. I hear you're making an RPG. What's the setting? Middle, uh, medieval fantasy or something else? Fantasy, yeah. Um. Yeah, there's gonna be, like, castles and kingdoms and stuff like that. Um. I don't wanna give too much of it away. Also, making is kind of the wrong word, because I'm not actively working on it in engine right now because I don't really have the skills to I'm, I'm trying to learn while I'm working on the story and stuff um, or you know alternatively if I win the lottery or if the channel takes off and I start making a shit ton of money on it I can hire someone to make it for me Travel guide. I should really read the name of items before I pick them up. Not gonna lie, I kind of miss retrospective streams where my favorite things to listen to while doing stuff. Um, what retrospective uh, streams? Oh wait, this was from that other one. Oh my god. Hmm. 
can I get hired as a writer? Um, I'm not looking for... Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I'm a tad bit paranoid about, like, my ideas being stolen. Um, not that I think they're, the, like, the best thing ever or anything. I just, I don't want to have an idea that I'm super passionate about. Only for someone else to take it and use it, you know? So I'm not looking for any writers right now. If the project gets more off the ground, maybe. But, yeah, I don't know. Or Kratosis, you could write a book. Something I've considered, but I, I like video games so much more I'd prefer to make a game over a book. Play Mother 3, uh, Natural Killer? The music did stop, didn't it? Um... That is a good one. I'm not sure if it fits what I'm doing right now, though. I'm definitely not playing the extended version, Jesus. Yeah, I really like this one. Have you seen the new Walking Dead game? Uh, no I haven't. Oh yeah, I used this in your vids. That I did. God, what the fuck is even the point of this quest? Yeah, I don't know what this one's for. I'm not... <sighs> I'm already tired of this one, I'm not doing it. The new Walking Dead game is all about the alternative path that the show could have gone down. Like, what if Rick dies in the hospital? Oh. Have you ever played God Hand? Nope. Next time, no Creation Club crap, please. Not like the villain games is better or something. I, I wasn't expecting the Creation Club stuff to take this long, to be honest.
I'm going to bed. I'll get nightmares from my experience from Marvels. Um, have a good night. You watch any new show or anime? Um, Pagan did get me to watch the first season of Konosuba. Which is pretty neat. I wonder what stupid shit this one's gonna lead me to. Or is it literally fucking signs pointing me to it now? Kratosis understands about the stealing stuff. My online persona is based off of... It's based off the uh, story universe I've been working on for close to a decade now. Yeah, the story I'm working on is kind of getting close to being that old. I first had the idea in 2018. Is that good in the BFG? Yep. Creates nothing if not persistent? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I just give up like I did with that other quest. It was incredibly tedious. And this one's kind of reaching that point, too. This wasn't so easy, I would just be like, yeah, fucking whatever. I am running out of gas here. This might actually be worse than follow the notes, because it's just follow the same fucking shit over and over again. Really? I'm sorry? Oh, there's... there's corpse chunks inside my character. All this for a quantum rad stag. I could have sent the rad stag to one of my settlements. I could have done it.
God, what a shitty quest. Alright. Last one. I'm sorry I didn't get to Automaton or the Vault Workshop one or Nuka World today. I didn't think all the Creation Club shit would take this long, but it did. Did you have fun? No. But at least, uh, you guys got to enjoy my suffering. And that's the Hellfire armor. Man, I love weapons that take up one third of the screen. Yeah. How bad is your brain melts, Cree? It's dripping onto my shoulders. Yeah, it's finally tuned in and you aren't killing women. Oh, you want to fucking bet? Do you want to fucking bet? Are you a femoid? You are. He's killing the women and the children. What the fuck am I stuck on? It takes a Chad Gamer to play a video game specifically because it fucking sucks ass. That's one way to put it, I suppose. There might be more people back here, hold on. In fact, I know there's gonna be two down here because... Those are the two fuckers who, uh... talk to each other and let you know that the railroad exists through their dynamic conversation. I want to get one inside the window. I am now going to uninstall all the Creation Club shit, and next time I stream this for research, I'll do the DLC proper.
thank you for coming out, everyone. It's very much appreciated. Um... Tomorrow is Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow with... I have no idea what. Um, but yeah. It's very much appreciated. Have a good night, everyone. Ree.